All right, guys, this is important. For many, many years, when I was running my real estate business, I was depressed, I was not happy, I was not having fun anymore. I had lost my ability to have fun. And so in this video today, I'm gonna tell you why I decided to switch from Keller Williams Realty over to EXP Realty. And it, a lot of the reason why is it's what I call the friend party. I call it the business partner selection party. I call it putting the fun back in real estate again. I call it being able to partner with those that I'd love to partner with. And this is all only possible at EXP Realty. So let's just dive into exactly how I chose my business partners and I actually didn't even give them a choice to say yes or no. They had to say yes. Let's learn how right now. When I talk about moving companies, one of the biggest fundamental reasons why I ended up moving companies was for a few things. You're gonna look at this guy right here, his name is Kevin Kaufman. You're gonna look at a guy right here, his name is Fred Weaver. You're gonna see another guy right here, his name is Andrew Franklin. And then you're gonna see another person here, his name is Jimmy Franklin. And then you're gonna see another person here, his name is Curtis Johnson. Now, these names may not ring a bell to you, but I want to go through some of the numbers of who these people are. Let's start with who I call my EXP sponsor. When I joined EXP, EXP made me choose a sponsor that was going to sponsor me into the company. And as you guys know, my sponsors make money every time I sell homes or I recruit people or so on and so on. And so when I chose my sponsors, it's like choosing a team, right? If I'm choosing whose team I'm going to be on, my team is going to help me. My team is going to help me get through challenges. They are gonna help connect me to people when I need connections. And so when I was choosing my team, I said, huh, I know that Andrew joined EXP. Andrew here, remind you who Andrew is, his team is going to close nearly 1,500 transactions in 2020. Guys, when I first met Andrew almost four years ago, Andrew had closed roughly about 400 transactions, maybe 500. He had just bought in the company from his dad, Jimmy Franklin, who we'll talk about here in a minute. And I was just astounded. I, my mind was blown. I was like 19 years old. I was at a conference. I had met Andrew in an Uber. And long story short, I was just wowed, right? He was closing 400 homes a year and now they're closing 1,500. And so when I moved over to EXP, I said, wait, I can choose Andrew as a sponsor and he is going to have financial interest in helping me succeed. Guys, this is a top 50 Wall Street Journal team, if not top 25, and the number one team in all of EXP as of the recording of this video. Why would I not do that? Guys, when I joined EXP, I knew Andrew, I liked Andrew, Andrew was a friend, but when I was at KW and he was at Remax or he was at EXP, I, you know, he would help me, but it was at such a limited capacity because he was helping his team members first, right? Those that were in his market, closing transactions, making him financial income. He wasn't being greedy. He was building a real estate team, right? It's just like, it's just like Walmart doesn't send help over to Target, right? And Target usually doesn't send help over to Walgreens and so on and so on. So it's the same thing. So I said, awesome. If I want that type of mentorship, I'm going to go over to EXP and I'm going to align with this awesome Andrew Franklin. Now, and I understood this, but I didn't quite grasp the reality of it, is because of the way EXP is set up in their revenue share, which I talk about in the EXP Realty Explain video down below, what you don't realize is, is I also got the team that was above him. So right above Andrew in what we call our upline, or I know some people call it the revenue share group, right above Andrew was a guy by the name of Fred Weaver. Now Fred, I have known for a super long time. When I was at Keller Williams with my dad, he was our personal coach. 
we were paying him thousand dollars a month or my dad was paying him a thousand dollars a month to coach and so we really respected the way that they ran their business they ran a big expansion team they grew a really really big business so when i had the option to name andrew as a sponsor and then i learned that fred was above him and they were selling 500 plus homes a year. Again, another Wall Street top 100 team sometime in their career. I was absolutely shocked. I'm like, wait, so you're telling me if I take my real estate business, I'm a little nobody. I mean, I'm selling a good amount of production. I'm doing a lot of things, growing big companies, but nothing compared to what they were doing. If I take myself and I just name Andrew as a sponsor, then I also get Andrew's help and Fred's help. I'm like, wait, we used to pay Fred $1,000 a day back in the day to coach. You're telling me he's gonna give me all of his resources and he's gonna take phone calls from me and he's gonna help me for free? I was dumbfounded. Then I learned that it was Andrew and then it was Fred and then it was Kevin. Kevin was Fred's business partner that had also helped him grow to this 500 plus unit producing team. They were both in Gary Keller's top 100. So now I'm looking and I'm like, wow, I, by doing one simple action, I moved my business from KW to EXP. I saved money because the cap was lower. I saved money because there was no royalties. I made money because I'm making stock now. I made money because when I recruited people, the revenue share is amazing. And I get to align with Andrew, Fred, and Kevin? I was like, what? This is unreal. And then I learned that above Kevin, there was this guy by the name of Curtis Johnson. Now, I had known Curtis. I had been to conferences where Curtis had spoke. And long story short, he's another absolutely massive whale producer out of Arizona. But I learned that I could get the mentorship of these people. I was my mind was blown and so this put the fun back into my business guys it put the fun back into my business because now these great guys that had built really really big companies had vested interest in helping me succeed right and if i'm being brutally honest with you when i was at keller williams i loved my office i loved my dad's team i would never redo any of that but when I look back at the structure of how an office is set up, no one really had a vested interest in me succeeding, right? And what I mean by that is my dad had a vested interest and he sacrificed so much to help me succeed and, and, and vice versa in terms of growing the team together. But when I looked at the market center, and I looked at other agents, like I had some really, really good agent friends, right? Some still to this day, top mentors of mine, shout out to Bruce Carley, like big people in my life that helped me grow as an agent, but there was a cap. There was a cap to how much help other agents in my office would give me because of course they had no vested interest in financials to help me succeed, right? And yes, I hear the argument that they might've made some profit share money and things like that, but it wasn't enough to make an impact. But then when I looked around the nation and I looked at other top Keller Williams agents that were doing a thousand homes a year, 500 homes a year, to align with them, I had to pay for their coaching programs or I had to be one of their coaching clients or there was really no way for me to align my real estate business with those that I wanted to align it with, right? And so, because when I looked at my profit share tree at KW, it was me, then it was my dad, and then it was a whole bunch of people above him that weren't even at KW anymore. They weren't even at the company. And so they really didn't have vested interest in helping me because so many of them were not even at the company. And so my dad had vested interest, but at the time when I was traveling and I was coaching and I ended up going out and teaching all year and teaching and virtual assistants became my passion over time, that's when we obviously, I left my dad's team as many of you guys know, but I got to then pick my power network, right? And these are guys that were busting the ceilings and it just made real estate fun again. 
It made me smile. It made me be excited for the next thing on the block, right? It made me excited to talk with them. It made me excited to think bigger. The amount of big thinking that I can do now because of the connections that I have and the amount of people I just surround myself with has just made the business fun. And so with that being said, I create this video because people ask me all the time, well, Justin, if I join you at eXp, what happens? Like, do I get access to those people as well? Yeah, well, let's run through it. Let's say that this is you. Above you would be me, right? Someone that does coaching, training, education. I have the Sphere Rocket program for our EXP members where we do a weekly call, where I give you my virtual assistant services for free, where we give you all of our coaching for free. And then guess who's above me? Andrew Franklin, Fred Weaver, Kevin Kaufman, Curtis Johnson, there's a whole bunch of others, Michael Reese, Jay Kinder, agents that were selling 500 homes a year, 1,000 homes a year. So I just share that with you guys because that's how the system works. It's one of the biggest reasons why I joined eXp because it allowed me to join with my friends. It, because guess what? I'm making a lot more money now that I'm, when I'm excited to meet with my friends, when I'm excited to go to conferences, when I'm excited that when I did something that they made money too, and they reach out to me and go, Justin, congratulations, let's help you do more, right? Because it's a win-win. So with that being said, this is just another EXP video. I wanted to remind you guys, I run the EXP Icon podcast down below. It's an interview with hundreds of Icon agents from across the nation of agents from companies just like you're at now, making the move over to eXp and finally realizing why all the hype has been around eXp and why there's so much success happening here. So check out the Icon Podcast. Also, if you're ever interested in aligning with me at eXp, you guys will see a Pick My Brain session. Feel free to grab a time off of my calendar. I, of course, would love to talk to you about what it looks like to join with that awesome big line I just talked about um, at eXp. And then last but not least, make sure that you guys hit the little like button the subscribe button and even hit that little bell wherever it may be down below because I would love for you guys to not miss any more videos on whether it's our virtual assistant business, our agent training side, or aligning with us over at eXp. So with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your week and until then, stay leveraged. Hey guys, Justin Nelson here. I just wanted to give you guys more information on where you can learn more about our services. If you want to learn more about our virtual assistants, you guys can just check in the links below in the description to learn where you guys can go and schedule a call with our team to learn all about what a virtual assistant can do in your business. And if you're looking for social media training, same thing below. You guys can go below and check out the links to our social media training, the latest and greatest things that we're up to. We'd love to have you a part of our Sphere Rocket Elite social media training, or we'd love to obviously help you find a rock star virtual assistant. With that being said, before we end the video here, make sure you guys like, make sure you subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.